I wonder if you could characterize U.S.-Saudi relations. I mean, on the one hand, the Bush family has historically been very close to the royal family for a long time, apparently got them out quickly right after 9-11 and so on. On the other hand, when President Bush was just there and he wanted them to bring down the price of oil or increase production, they turned that down. Right. When he wanted them to lead a coalition against uh, Iran, he t they turned them down. When the United States has promoted democratization in the Middle East, they've turned that down. Uh, and mm -hmm. from what you said, they have absolutely zero interest in ever promoting democratization in the Middle East. So wh what, what is this relationship uh, beside sort of the price of oil kind of based on it, would it, would it change were the Democrats to come to power? Or, you know, how, how, what, what, is, what are the Saudis' interests in the relationship with the United States? That's an excellent question. Um, I'll try to be brief. Basically, the, the relationship um, during the Cold War was a relatively unproblematic one because it was centered on fighting communism on the one hand, uh, fighting Arab nationalism and socialism, and um, in the Arab world, and, um, and keeping a stable sort of supply of oil. Um, th since the end of the Cold War, however, they've, the United States and Saudi Arabia has had to re they have, they have both had to reinvent the relationship. And I think they haven't quite come to a consensus on what the nature of the relationship is. The Saudis regard, I mean, here it's difficult to generalize. There are many different, there are at least two camps within the Saudi royal family on this issue. But, Broadly speaking, they know they cannot survive without the American protection, the umbrella that America provides um, in the region to protect the regime and the oil, the oil, the oil fields. Um, on the other hand, they are extremely angry with Bush's, uh, President Bush's policies on Iraq, especially also on the Arab-Israeli conflict, and um, just think he's, um, I mean, they, they his style is so unlike theirs. I mean, they would never sort of engage in, in the way, in this preemptive way as, as he has. However, personally, they like him a lot. They love the fact that he wore the sort of Saudi um, um, garb, that he danced, you know, with the sword. He looked them in the eye, and they seemed to think, you know, he was one of them. Um, that he spent three days, that he spent three days in Saudi Arabia, the first time a U.S. president ever does so, and only three hours in Cairo, in Egypt, rather which shows you that Saudi is now very important, whereas Egypt is not. Um, but I think they're both groping. And the Saudis often talk about you know, China, Russia, you know, alternatives, India, to, to the US. But there is no alternative in, in terms of the protection that, that, that the United States provides them. And, and, uh, and they're hoping, I think, for a, an administration much like uh, Bush father rather than Bush son. I don't think they, uh, they, 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 they don't like um, Hillary Clinton. Um, and, um, and they want a direct line. They want an access to him. I mean, the Saudis have always insisted on having an ambassador who doesn't have to go through the State Department, but rather can pick up the line, the phone, and call the White House directly. That's their style. That's how they ruled themselves in their own countries. 